on July 10, 1940, Hitler attacked British ships in the English Channel by air. This is the beginning of the Battle of Britain. By mid of August 1940, nearly 2,000 German aircraft swarm over the skies of the Britain. But the Britain Air Force was only half a size of Germans. The future of British people, North Americans, as well depended on the success of the fighters and pilots. But Germany feared that the winter would delay the invasion of Britain. So the decision was made to shift the Battle of Britain to a new phase. On September 7, the Nazi decided to change his strategy. A two-night flying Luftwaffe bombed London. They also broke the will of the people by targeting civilians. In response, the British Prime Minister ordered bombing raids in Berlin. Hitler was outraged and promised the Germans that British would suffer from the raids. He said, we will raise their cities to the ground. He ordered the Luftwaffe to attack on British cities continuously. On September 15 of 1940, more than 1,000 Luftwaffe bombers and nearly 700 flyers were all over the British skies. The RAF spit flyers and hurricanes climbed high to meet them. The sky over London was streaked with vapor trails from the aerial combat. When the Luftwaffe's daylight raids over England almost stopped, the RAF and the RCAF fighters and bombers began to make raids on German-occupied France. They attacked German air bases, gun positions, rail and road traffic, and military headquarters in France. Canadian crews flying Lancaster and Halifax bombers were dropping high explosives on German factories and steel mills in the road. On July 24th, 1943, 800 bombers destroyed the port of Hamburg. Three days later, the second wave of bombing killed almost 50,000 German men, even women and children. And a week later, the bombers struck the ruins of Hamburg for a third time. Because of the Allies' response with deadly efficiency, Hitler was forced to pull the Luftwaffe back to protect German cities and industrial sites of Allied bombing raids. Because of this loss, it convinced Germans and Hitler that the tactics were not working. The Germans failed to seize air supremacy over the English Channel. By mid-1944, the Allies ruled over the skies. The Luftwaffe was in full retreat. Although Canadian bombers' crew were not in the center of public attention, but their work was dangerous and their casualty rates terrifyingly high. They became experts at night bombing techniques against targets. Canadians flew all kinds of airplanes during the war, and the fighting was often vicious. Nearly 17,000 Canadian men died while serving with Bomber Command. Between 1939 and 1945, the RCAF enlisted 232,000 men and 17,000 women and operated 86 squadron. Through many battles, by 1945, the RCAF has grown to be the world's fourth largest air force. More than 17,000 Canadian airmen perished during the war.